Uh, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about um, my experience here and how I feel that it's prepared me for employment once I graduate. So as Stephen was saying, we do a um, eight week placement with an employer in our third year. Uh, I, I went to the Outer Hebrides and worked with Scottish Natural Heritage on the Hebridean Mink project. And I worked alongside environmental officers in the field getting quite a lot of practical experience. And also in the office doing quite a lot of um, data entry inevitably. But I feel like this has prepared me for a job with a large environmental organisation when I graduate. Um, also, as a student uh, of the University of Glasgow, we, are, um, we, we have connections with main campus. So there's a lot of societies up there, like the um, University of Glasgow Expedition Society, and they take expeditions um, out to lots of different countries. I went to Tobago um, last summer for 10 weeks, and we did a research and conservation on um, frogs and turtles and bats and things, and it was really, really good. Um, there's an iguana, and that I lived in a cottage on the beach, and it was really nice. Um, I got a lot of experience here as well in um, practical research methods, um, and this is more kind of zoology, but it just highlights that um, as a student at the University of Glasgow, you're also uh, able to take part in things up at main campus, which is really good. My honours project is uh, in in an area of ancient oak woodland near Newton Stewart, which is a small village in Dumfries and Galloway. It's one of the largest extents of um, ancient oak woodland in southern Scotland and it's important for uh, biodiversity and it's, it's designated, it's got several environmental protection designations. Uh, however, there's <coughs> deer have been um, negatively impacting the condition of the woodland, so the RSPB um, have asked me to carry out a deer impact assessment and doing this I'm getting to work alongside an environmental organisation and also get experience um, doing something that I would like to go into when I graduate. I'm talking about graduation. I graduate in June I think it is. July. Yeah, July. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm applying for a master's study and I feel like before I came to the university I wouldn't have been eligible to do this. Like now, having got an undergraduate degree, I can um, from Glasgow. I can. It really kind of opens up a lot of doors for me. Uh, I'm hoping to do environmental consultancy at the univer at another university, uh, and I've also recently got a job working as an environmental um, field assistant over the summer. So, if you're thinking about coming to university here, I highly recommend it. I took a year out once I left school. I didn't really think that there was anything out there that I really wanted to do, but I didn't know this course existed when I was finishing school. If I had known it existed, I would have been here like a shot because the first two years here, you get to do a wide range of courses and it gives you background knowledge in several different fields. Um, in my third year, like when you do get to specialise, I've, I've always really liked agriculture and I was given the chance then to do a placement with the SRUC, in fact my kind of boss at the SRUC is sitting in this room um, and they've been fantastic. I got the opportunity then to work in an office full of researchers, scientists that have been doing this for years. Um, the knowledge that I've got from working with them has just been fantastic. If I hadn't chosen this course I wouldn't have been able to have that opportunity. The field trip is so much fun the trip we get to go on in fourth year. The uh, good thing about this course as a whole though, you do lectures in the classroom. Once you get out onto the field, it consolidates what you've learned. So it is, it's all really helpful. You do end up with kind of a wide range of experiences and knowledge. It's, it's really good. Main campus, you might sit in a lecture hall with 200 other students. I don't know if the lecturers will know your name or not, but in this campus here, if you're stuck, if you need help, the lecturers are always here to help you. Generally, they reply pretty quickly to emails, so if you're ever stuck, you've got a good, good support network, network there. I'm from Glasgow originally, so I could have commuted, but actually it was worthwhile making the move down here and really immersing yourself in Dumfries. Dumfries is a gorgeous area in itself, especially if you're like me and want to go into farming and research, that kind of thing. You couldn't, you couldn't be in a better place for it. I think self-study is the big thing here and I think if you've 
got something that you're really interested in, the freedom of the courses here, you can kind of direct it in whatever way you want. Like there, each person in our class in fourth year, we've all got our own our own thing. No, I can promote this uni more strongly, or this campus especially, just because of the, the help you do get and the opportunities you get that I don't think you would get elsewhere. I had a really strong interest in geography and biology at school, and I felt this degree was the one that complemented those subjects most out of all the degrees that I applied for in Scotland. I actually did the summer school before I began, um, which was a really, really good way for me to settle into the expectations which is required at university, the life on campus, and the sort of work that I'm going to be um, going into when I was starting my degree. So that was firstly very, very useful for me. When I started the degree, I did a global environmental issues, as Stephen was saying before, and that was when I realised this is exactly what I want to be doing because it opens your eyes up to a wide range of global environmental issues that are currently being un like undermined right now and that makes you feel that you want to make a difference, especially with this degree. Um, in second year, um, I did uh, the first semester here, but in the January afterwards, I actually went to Amsterdam University College as part of the Erasmus Plus exchange. And that was absolutely incredible. In third year, um, I did the core modules in the first semester, the rural tourism one, the applied ecology and the human impacts one before then going on to a placement. I did that with estates and buildings of the University of Glasgow up at main campus. So here I actually had the opportunity to work with an amazing bunch of professionals like Hazel and Jack did on their courses. And what I was doing was I was integrating sustainability into the new campus developments that are currently ongoing up at the Gilmore Hill Estate. Here it was a very good chance for me to network and meet contacts in the future, which I'm still in contact with now and hope to be once I graduate as well. Um, it also kind of set me off um, for my dissertation that I'm currently doing right now on urban biodiversity, as that was a project that I was working on and trying to encourage up at main campus. So essentially what I can see from what I have got out of this experience is the practical work and the networks that the University of Glasgow have. We're very fortunate to be in a small campus with a small number of students. So you are very, you're very valued here and your lecturers want the best for you in the future and to build these connections and they give you the best facilities to do so. Um, I'm due to be graduating in a couple of months as well with Jack and Hazel. Um, I'm going to be really sad to go because I just love my experience here and I could not fault it at all.